Primo here from Mary Moitz and I'm back with an interesting, interesting video. Kama K, Kama Kawa. And today, another day, another interesting recipe. Today, we're doing something very quick and very delicious. And a lot of people love potatoes. If you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. Weru gang, weru for life. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, like... Who, who doesn't love potatoes? So today's recipe will be potato wedges and uh, I'm going to show you not one but two ways to do potato wedges. I'm going to show you how I love to fry mine and also my oven recipe, the one I like using in the oven. So I hope you guys will love love this video and if you do, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Sindhyaw. And um... I know there are a lot of ways to make waru, but potato like mashed potatoes, you can make some mukimo with them, roast, a lot of things boiled, but potato wedges are really, really nice. Please try these recipes and you will tell me which one is your favorite between the frying one and the, and the oven one, okay? And uh, guys, if it's the first time you're seeing my face and you're wondering what I do, I am Moirimo from Wairimo Eats and on this channel we do abnormally delicious recipes and also some traveling and um, if you love my videos or if you love what I'm doing please support my work by hitting that subscribe button it's absolutely free of charge like free like free like you just hit it then you take a seat and enjoy amazing amazing content in this channel so and if you're returning and you're not subscribed also please hit that subscribe button i'll really really appreciate it and if you've subscribed after subscribing hit the bell when you hit that bell every time i post a new video you will always get notified you will never miss on any of my videos okay guys and um i'll also be telling you more about the giveaway during this video and the picnic i know i told you in my previous video but i'll be telling you more about that in this video later on and let's just let's just jump right into the video. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> the drip so guys i'm here to show you the ingredients that you need for this quick meal like it's so delicious and very easy to make i would really love for you guys to try it out and obviously very few ingredients like the main the ingredients is just potatoes. potatoes only like we just need very large potatoes and also we need some spices for like to to flavor up the potatoes so i'm going to need some oil that i'm going to flavor up the potato with like it when you put oil it uh help the spices to stick on the potatoes and i'm going to need some black pepper some salt to taste and i'm going to use mixed herbs but if you have one specific herb that you prefer using you can use that or also you can use a combination of many like he on a dry meat oregano rosemary sage and parsley so you can decide to use this or zote pamoja one one then combine and also i'm going to need some garlic powder i really love this and uh, some paprika for some color we want them to be bright and uh, calling us nugget so we're going to start by taking our potatoes and slicing them into half then i want to like I'm using large, large fries. You, you know how for chipo, like for fries look small. This one you're going to use larger sizes. So let me show you how we're going to cut them. You have seen how 
how easy it was like to cut them so i'm just cutting them into eight pieces meaning i cut into half then so that i can ensure that they are almost the same size so that they cook evenly like when the others are small and others are large some will overcook and others will undercook if you una get because they're not of the same size so that's why i'm saying you look for potatoes that are large and almost the same size then you cut them into that formula i've shown you and you will achieve almost equal potato sizes so now i want us to parboil them it's just 50 percent cooking like we want to cook them for like 50 percent and I don't want, I want us to cook them for like five minutes, like to boil them for five minutes so that they can cook, cook on the inside and they won't stay too long either on, when frying and also while in the oven. So we are going to just nini, cook them for five minutes, boil them for five minutes, I mean, with some salt and water. So here's my pot. I'll add some water and some salt. I want to add some garlic to my boiling water. Focus, yes. That is quite so flat. And to this, I'm going to add some rosemary. Like, potatoes and rosemary are just friends. Like, it will absorb in the flavors. So, I want to build up on the flavors. It's quite too plain. That's why I'm adding my garlic and my rosemary. But you can let them cook zikiwa evil, like, just with salt. But you can build up on the flavors from now like you get me hey guys so i'm just here to pop up and let you know more about the giveaway and the picnic and uh, so uh, my potatoes are here they're boiling and uh, i want to put a poster right now that i want you guys to screenshot then i'll let you know why i'm telling you to screenshot the poster i'm putting it up right now <laughs> Have you screenshot that poster so after you screenshot it i want you guys to post it on your instagram pages after my post on instagram page yako make sure you tag me and uh, make sure you follow me and also you have subscribed to my youtube channel after doing that make sure you tag as many people as possible because the picture with the most likes the top 10 pictures with the most likes are going to come with me for the picnic and the picture number like say i'm taking 10 people the picture with the most mostest the number one picture the most like is going to also come with me for the picnic and get a chance to win a watch a cake voucher which is like a con uh, the privilege of ordering a 2 kg cake whatever flavor they want whatever design and the voucher will last until the end of the year you can use it for your birthday for your christmas for new years you never know where it, your, the cake will come in handy so you can order the cake within the period until the end of the year so that's the the first number one but the rest the rest of the people plus the like 10 people i'm going to choose them to come with me for the picnic which you never know where it is in the Kwakempinski. you never know so please make sure you participate in this giveaway and also in this picnic if you have not screenshot that please go back and screenshot it post it on your instagram page make sure you tag me so that i can see the post junispo honor how will you win then my hand is so tired and the smell coming out of this food is just amazing nishaika timer so it will tell me when the timer is off one minute left Ooh. one minute left so make sure you you participate in this giveaway you never know what is coming your way and uh, one minute to go so let me set up we remove the potatoes from the boiling water so that they don't overcook and uh, that's it i have the worst alarm <laughs> Thank you.
Guys, I'm here and uh, I have my chair here with me because I want us to start with the ones that I'm going to put in the oven. I want us to start with the oven recipe and I also have my aluminium foil here because I don't want them to stick on the tray. So just I'm going to line my tray. Then we can continue. So we are going to start the recipe for the the oven recipe as I've said and we're going to start by like wiping the potatoes and removing the, the like water like make sure it's dry so that the flavors can stick on the potatoes and now i'm going to drizzle some oil i'm just going to drizzle two tablespoons of oil i'm using vegetable oil but if you have olive oil you can also use that or even sunflower oil and i'm not going to place like put some black pepper and i'm adding some mixed herbs to the to the potatoes and some salt like just a little bit because i've already added some salt from before and i'm going to add some paprika so that it can be bright and very beautiful and some garlic powder then i'm going to use my hands to mix everything together please make sure you use your hands because your hands are more gentle compared to a fork or a spoon or even a spatula then use your hand to ensure that they won't break because they're going to be gentle. That's how they look, very pretty. Now I'm going to take my lined tray and place all my wedges one by one, like if you see shikane, so they can cook evenly. And after that, I'm going to drizzle some oil on top, like one tablespoon on top of all the wedges, and then put it in the oven for 45 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius and after 20 minutes this is 20 minutes later remove your potatoes and turn them this is after 20 minutes then you're going to return them for 25 more minutes after turning all your wages so make sure you turn them all so they can cook on all sides like you want them to be crunchy on both sides then to tarudisha it cooks for 25 more minutes now we are on to the frying wedges now this one you're going to use all-purpose flour half a cup of all-purpose flour i'm going to use a sieve so that i avoid the lumps and i'm also going to need a quarter cup of corn flour we're also going to sieve that and add the same spices that we added from before salt some black pepper and you're also going to add some paprika for some great great color some mixed herbs some garlic like garlic in your mouth, you know, some more garlic <laughs> and uh, i'm just going to take my fork and mix everything together while adding some water because we want to make a butter that is thick enough like the pancake butter just mix until one name to shanana the thickness of the pancake and that's the consistency we are looking for now i'm now going to take my wedges that had remained from before this you can see how lovely they look already and they're already like pre-cooked i'm going to add them into the mixture into my butter and mix using my hands because when you use a spoon they're going to break if you don't love holding the butter with your hands just use some gloves but when you use a fork they might break so the hands are more gentle then you take your your the coated potato wedges and put them in some oil like it's that easy like this recipe is so so fast very quick snack and you can add any spices that you prefer or love like you're not restricted to anything so if you love like some chili add some more chili you guys get me and after you're adding your potatoes into the oil keep on turning them so they don't burn on one side because you never know if the heat is well regulated Keep on turning and now you can see they are ready. Oh my god. That color. They are so crispy. Oh. Oh Jesus. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Remove all the rest. fitting. So we are going to do the rest in the same procedure. Just add them. Then after you have added them for the first time you separate them so that like sometimes the butter can 
clump to each other like the wedges because of the butter they can clump to each other so you can separate them using your spatula like physically you can see me separating there then i will keep on checking like keep on just turning them so that they don't burn on one side and you will keep on checking that so you can see how easy it is to make potato wedges and very delicious very flavorful you can also see these ones are also as beautiful as the ones that you've done before and it's that easy and you're done if you have more batches you can continue with the same same process and uh, it's that easy like it's that easy to make potato wedges very delicious quick fix meal i know you're going to make a sauce i know you guys know i make this sauce all the time because it's very easy takes very few ingredients very few seconds and uh, it's just abnormally delicious this is my go-to quick fix sauce that i want to dip in and i don't want to use just plain tomato sauce i'm going to use two tablespoons of mayo two tablespoons of tomato sauce and i'm just going to add some chili to just give it some heat chili to kiasi you can see the chili over there you can add it up to according to the amount you want if you're a chili head squeeze that bottle yes but because I'm not a chili head, I'm just going to add a bit for just a little, like for some heat. Yes, it will. Then mix, mix kabisa, mix vizuri, and the sauce is ready. That easy. The dipping sauce is ready. Now, time to serve. You can see the potato wedges up close. Oh my God. These ones are the ones from the oven. You can see the crispiness. You can also see like kinikama flavors eco had equal skin. You can see how crispy they look. Oh my god. So make sure you try out these recipes because they're the ones. This is where it's at. Now next to the frying one. You can see they have a butter. They are very beautiful, crispy or as also. And you can make them as crispy as you want. You just give them more time or even you can double fry. Oh my God. Such a lovely, lovely snack. Very easy to make. So you guys, please try these recipes out. And let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. Let's dip it. Deep. And please, if you may try this recipe, please try to use the dipping sauce. It will just change them to the next level. These are some matoke strips that I tried. I had some matoke and the butter remained, so I just decided to explore. I'm going to tell you about it in a few of how they taste, why I did that, and um, how easy it also to make them. I'm going to tell you in a few, but you can see how lovely they also look. So matoke also works. So yes, please don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Guys, I'm back. I'm done cooking. Hey, like zilikuwa zinanukia na bado zinanukia they are here. And I know you've seen three plates instead of two. It's because the I had some butter remaining and because I had some matoke, I wanted to experiment and uh, Coat the matoke in the butter and I'll let you know if it's as delicious as using potatoes. And also, we're going to give all these a test that's with you guys. Then I'm going to tell you which one is my favorite. And I also want you to tell me which one is your fave in, your, in the comment section down below. So make sure you try all of them and you let me know which one did you prefer. And stanza na test test. And don't forget you guys to join the giveaway and the picnic. You never know where we'll be at. And I don't want you guys to miss out. So go back, screenshot the poster. Post it on your Instagram page. Tag as many people as possible. So that you can get as many likes as possible to get to win the giveaway. And uh, remember the first one also gets a voucher for a whole 2 kg cake. 2 kg like... Yeah, so enough of talking. I'm salivating. So I have my weight here with me. I'm just going to dip. Ooh. Hmm. 
so much flavor it's so crispy Damn. you can hear the crunch so so nice so much flavor wow i even don't know what to say i'm taking another one it's like it's so sweet so so nice very soft in the inside i love funjani crispy just like i love it so hmm, please try out this one especially hmm. very very nice very like it will take your potato to the next level please try this out to the next one i'm going to take the ones for frying because we we made a butter that's why you can see like there's a layer on top let's see how it tastes am i it tastes as good as it looks because even the color is so so pretty so here's my veg quite a big one i dip it Ooh. what so so sweet like kabisa and you can even hear the garlic even the rosemary that we used to boil makes a very big difference here and then in the dipping sauce there's some chili so naskia huku vizuri too please try this out and make sure you do it with the dipping sauce come on mayo or chili just use tomato sauce it will taste so much better very quick snack your potato life will never be the same again i promise you come so much flavor Now this is the matoke. Najata ikai na kha chipo. So this is ones from the matoke. Mm, yeah there. Nana na kha chipo. I take it. Dip it. Then uh, It's nice. Kabisa. You can't even say it's dizzy like I will see semani magizi hmm. I'll try this again This is the first time I've even thought of doing that hmm. Also try the ones for the matoke Very sweet Like wow! Hello, it's a money man. Dizzy. When you have you had dizzy, try this out. Then you let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. Hmm. They are so sweet, like a bisa. If you love potatoes, you will see how this will go to the next level. And uh, I think I have to end this video here. I'm so sorry, but I'll be back with more and more videos, very interesting videos. And I hope you try out this recipe. And if you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you've reached this far and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing. And also, give this video a big, <laughs> a big thumbs up, like... A lot of thumbs up if you can do it twice or more please do and also leave a comment of what you think about the video in the 
comment section down below and from me it's a wrap i'll see you in the next one <laughs>